arrow affliction. The definition of affliction is distressed, challenged, there we go, beaten down, all these things that afflict somebody, afflict something, and I am afflicted. With arrows, with hunting, it's simple. It is shooting arrows. That is the coolest thing about hunting, shooting, and just being outside. That is arrow affliction. That is why we do this. Okay, Frogers. I never wanted to be anybody's enemy. I never wanted to be anybody's The training segment. The training segment we do every week. It keeps us sharp. It keeps us to the top of our game, at that level that we want to be at all times. Whether we're hunting squirrels, we're hunting something hard like doves out of the air with a bow, or we're going after big game like these muleys. It keeps us at that level to perform every time, keep our equipment sharp, our minds sharp. And it just keeps us on. That's why we train. 16 yards. 16 yards is not a hard shot. It's pretty much a gimme shot. But this is what we're gonna do today. It's hot, we're sweaty, we're sitting on a, a block out here in the yard, we've got three targets. I'm gonna pound these targets to drill into my head where I have to shoot to make sure that there is no, that there is no chance that I'm gonna mess up on these mule deer we're going after. So this is a broadside shot. I'm gonna get it over with. I'm gonna tell you guys about probably one of the most, I don't know if the word's provocative or the most challenged shot. Even, it's taboo to even talk about. Well, this is what arrow affliction's about. I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. I'm gonna tell you that the fact is that if an animal is quartering at you, there is no reason, if you know your equipment and if you know you can make your shot and you go through all your steps and your grip is true and your aim is true and you know you can do it, and the animal's body language is letting you know that he is comfortable, he is not gonna jump the string. You can shoot an animal right between the front leg and the brisket. There's not even a bone there that's gonna stop your arrow from going right into the goodie box, taking out the top of the heart and the lungs and putting them down quick. A dirty That is, right here, there's a little crease on the outside of, of any animal's brisket. So if you're gonna take the taboo quartering at your shot, don't put it behind the front leg. Put it in the, the inch and a half to two inch spot, the magical spot between the front leg and the brisket. It is a deadly shot. I don't care what anybody says. The experts will tell you that it is a deadly shot but make sure you know your equipment make sure you're comfortable and make sure that animal is just sound perfect calm because you don't want him to jump through there, right through the lungs. So you'll see us shoot a bunch of targets at a bunch of different angles. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta practice, boys and girls. Practice, practice, practice.
So after we've eradicated the oil rigs of rabbits and taken three big old antelope, we're after North Dakota mule deer in velvet. You may see him in a man. Velvet, baby. <laughs> So we're going the first night in the blind. We get to the blind, we get set up, paint our face, get all of our black on, get in the back of the blind. And here's the lucky arrow, our North Dakota. We're, we're on something a little more cool today. A little more ordinary, but still wild. Giant velvet mule deer over water holes. North Dakota. It's a dream come true. We're not there a half hour, and here they come. So the does come in, get a drink, we're watching them for a while, and then the bucks show up. Here comes these three beautiful bucks. They're walking the levee. There's a beautiful sunset behind them. The sun's going down. We're covered up in, in mule deer. What an awesome night. So that the first night, the big boy didn't show up. A couple nice bucks but no, no giant, not the one that we've got the picture of. I can't believe that we're even here. So we're getting ready, we get in there for the second night, we're set up, and we're watching these deer again. and we're watching these deer again. They're showing up all over the place. They're coming in left and right and over the hill and here comes the levee and there's some coming up the valley to our right, but no big one yet. Then all of a sudden, this four by four comes screaming around the corner. I come to full draw, I think it's a, a shooter. He's there, he's getting a drink of water. I'm at full draw, I'm getting ready to whack him. And I, right then I decide, that's the four by four that was in the day before that we passed. But the way he came in and he ran around and he, and he come through and kind of scared the mother bucks and was kind of, you know, being aggressive. He looked like a big dominant buck.
that was on. I was holding right on. Well, things are certain. This ain't working. Lurking somewhere. I'm gonna stop. I guess they got me. Mommy, Bobby, Tom. There you go. You want help, bro? No, you're right. I was right there for the, everybody over there fighting in the wars. Letting us be out here mule deer hunting on our third day in North Dakota. We switched arrows. We've got the red, white, and blue Freedom Hunters ready to rock and roll right now. for all my buddies and everybody else over there. So it's the third day, we get to the blind, we get in there again, we've got our fingers crossed, we know that this is the night. And sure enough, they start moving. Does and little bucks. In the ghetto. And his mama And now it was time for the big boys to move. It's about a half hour, 45 minutes before sunset, and here comes three big shooters. Well, one of them is that 4x4. Four four. I guess he's not really a shooter, but the other two, they're shooters. The one is the big, wide, tall buck that was bedded up on the, up on the rock ledge, and, the, and this other one is a big, wide, 4x4. Four four. He's got short forks in, on, on top, and, but he's got big, nice, deep forks in the front, and he's got brow tines. Velvet, he's gray, he is beautiful, and he's in some serious trouble. He's headed into the water hole, and he's gonna be at about 20 yards. Okay, so check this out. So I'm looking at the two bucks to shoot, the one's big, tall, really tall and wide, and the other one is really wide, good front, and he's got splits and brow tines, and I'm like, that's the one I want. So this buck's getting a drink with the 4x4, and I'm thinking about taking that quarter and two shot, I know the light's fading, he's at 34 yards, but I've got the secret weapon. I've put out some Supermax the last couple days at 22 yards, right there in front of us, right on the edge of the water, in the green stuff. 
and I know that he's going to get a drink and he's going to take a couple licks of it. He comes in, I range him one more time, he settles in, he picks up his head, looks the other way. place we've seen him. The ground is so dry. It's starting to rain and we know he's down so we're just going to pick up the trail right here where we where went down this hill. Oh my lord. Look at this buck y'all. Look at this buck. Oh, look at that right there. Doesn't get any better than that. This is America. Anything can happen. A good old Illinois boy. A flatlander. He come out here to North Dakota and shoot a beautiful muley velvet 5x5. Five five. How cool is that? That is a big velvet muley in North Dakota. And this is the Arrow Affliction. All right, here's the viewer challenge. The challenge this week is a double Robin Hood. Can I do it? Well, we got the block set up. Let's see if I can do it. All right, there's one arrow. All right, we're going for try number two. Here we go. Shot number two, we got it. So that's one Robin Hood. Now we gotta go for a double Robin Hood. It gets so tough when you bet it up and I'm so far. Out of this town like a freight train bound shaking the ground. I think maybe it's because it's too flimsy. Arrow hits it, that's what it does. It's flying in and it just ticks it instead of staying in there. Ticks off the side of it. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe impossible. I think she's impossible, everybody. It's a viewer challenge. We only did one Robin Hood. We couldn't do the double. What are you gonna do? 